So I'm in Wicks at the minute, trying to look for this end cap. If I was in America, this Harbour Freight shop apparently has them, because that's where I seen the video from. Um, but yeah, I can't see my find a cap to put inside this pipe to block it off to make the boost connector. So I've been in like three, four shops, but nothing's happening. I'm gonna have to try somewhere else. In another section, they have an end cap here. But it's one meter or something. That's way too big, man. Come on, man. We need a harbour freight shop. But yeah, there's no end cups. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to think of something else. I've been at literally like four or five shops. But yeah, they, they do not have an end cup. have to... Riddle my way on something else. So when I lose all hope, I come to see our dog. You put on the pay out of the camera. Don't allow me to sit down with the baby and stay there me up in. Right, so now we've made a proper boost leak tester. See them wells? Yeah. Beautiful wells in there. What we're going to do is tighten this clip up here. Put this through there. Hopefully it fits through there. And then onto the turbo. And then connect the airline onto it. So we're going to quickly get this on in there. So we've tried squeezing it in and as you can see, it's a really tight fit. It won't even get into there because it has to bolt onto there. Screw onto there, sorry. Um, but yeah, it's got quite a, quite a bit of a way to go. So what we're going to try doing is we're going to try removing the power steering pump. See if we get a bit more space. It might be a bit easier then. Now we've moved the power steering out the way. We've got a lot more room. I've just noticed this plug here is off. Oh, okay. So they've chopped that one off, bypassed it. Oh, hold on. So that's going into the loom, bypassed it, and they've still got the original wire into the sensor. I got scared then for a minute. I thought they might not have put the wire in. Oh yeah. Made in Japan, EJ20. Yeah, man. Big up Subaru. Big up Tashimide. I think that's how you say it. What block is it? 7627. No idea. But yeah, looks like a pretty clean block. So now we've got a lot more space to put that boost tester in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and get it fitted. right close to the edge now it's a bit hot and let it cool down and then test fit it again it's winter time so we've put the light on that my brother's fitted uh, yeah he's fitted this to connect 
here inside onto this plug man of many talents but they just get lazy sometimes um he's even fitted this plug here hold on put my flash on he even fitted this plug here we didn't even have a, a plug here to be honest look it's siliconed it in properly so we've got light outside to make us will make it easier to work on the car big man's bringing the compressor yes big man big man Holy really hell, mate, it's strong, you. I'll take it from here. These boys are on with something else. They, these lot have got their own project, so they're, they're going back into the the temporary garage. No pipes, nothing. Doesn't sound like any air coming from the pipes. Sometimes the sound travels. And it's definitely in this top corner here. Oh, is this pipe here? Go on. Let go. Yeah. Oh my god, after all that. It's this pipe here. So we need to block this pipe and then come back. All that time we took everything off. Good job we didn't take rip the full bumper off. We need to block this pipe, boys. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> Find someone to block that pipe. No, are you going to keep your two minutes? When you put it in there, that's a big hole. It's in a bomb or something. Yeah. Hey, man. Someone up here. Oh, there. Yeah, okay. Found it. Found one leak. Right. All right, so we found out where this pipe goes to. This pipe connects to the fuel pressure regulator here. See it? That yeah. connects to there. So let's quickly um, snip that off. See it? Pipe split. No. Pipe looks okay. But look how thin that pipe is. Look how thin it is. See how thin it is? See it? Mm -hmm. That is a thin pipe. So yeah, we're going to see if we can... Some tape on it. To make it a bit thicker. Possible suspect is the dump valve itself. So we're just going to fill the dump valve up with water. Fairy water. Pressurize it again. And then have a look. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. So there's the cold prey. The dump baby cells, isn't it? It's the Doompy Valve. The Doompy Valve is leaking. Does it work? Does it? It works at high, high end, like loads of like pressure. After like um. That's what it is, then, isn't it? Because then it loses power, high pressure. Isn't it? Yeah. Doom valve off. Let's have a look at it. What Doom valve is it? Forge. Forge dump valve. Right, we have found another dump valve. It always keeps spare parts watching. Was this? Which one is this? This one is a Turbo Smart Mega Sonic with two huge trumpets. Check the side out and them trumpets. Big boy trumpets. So, what's happened to this one is that. Pressure spring inside has gone weak. So we're going to remove this one. Put this one on this pipe here. Should fit 
in it. Oh my god, look how big this bad boy is. He was right. Mr. Dawood was right. Yeah. Just a little. You have to get it in there, down there somehow. Right, so we've got the nice clean shiny dump valve in there. But it's right next to the starter wire. So what I've done is I've just taped around the starter wire. You know, the starter live to make sure it doesn't bloody touch that. Let's air test this. Go on, I'll tell you when it's going up. Yeah, it's going up. Keep going. Sounds all right? No, some leaking here, right? Some leaking, all right, go on, let, uh, let go of it, let's see, does it drop? Bottles there, bottles there. Grab the bottle. Yes, Get it. On another leak, it's actually leaking from this gasket here. So that will be causing uh, problems. Hold on. Let's see if we can find any more. This is, what is this? I think it usually goes to the PCV valve, and this is the clip here, I don't know, yeah? Put the clip on it. You literally don't even need to let go. You don't even hold the thing. You literally don't even need to squeeze it to pull it off. Yeah, watch this here. Yeah. So it won't even hold in. So the only problem we've got now is where this is gonna fit is in a really tight spot. So we put a jubilee clip on this side. On that nut should be alright. We need to put a jubilee clip on this side and I don't know how we're gonna tighten it in there, but we're gonna try our best. Put a clip on that. <laughs> Hopefully that should hold. Right guys, so we've just pressure tested it for the fifth time. And it sounds like it's okay. We do have a, a slight little leak from the ICV valve, idle control valve. But I'm going to change the gasket on that. Uh, that shouldn't cause too much problems with it not boosting. And the pipe that connects to the ICV is also leaking slightly. But it looks like we've found the problem. It must have been that big blue pipe. I don't know if that's a PCV. I have no idea, but I think it's something got to do with... So, something I don't know, it'll come to my brain sometime, but... Um, until then, let's just put all this back together quickly. And then uh, fire it up, take it for a little drive.